<laughs> Good morning, Cheetahs. Welcome to the South Greenville <laughs> Cheetah Spot. This is Mrs. Tatter with your morning announcements. Today is Wednesday. September 16th, 2015. Again, today is Wednesday, September 16th, 2015. We've been in school for 17 days now. So today is the 17th day of school. Please stand while we say the Pledge of Allegiance. Place your right hand over your heart and recite the pledge with me. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thanks, Cheetahs. You may be seated. After you've made it to your seat, we're going to pause for a moment of silence. All right, teachers, now it's time for a uniform check. Boys' shirts need to be tucked in at all times. Shirt colors are white, navy blue, black, gold, or yellow. Pants, shorts, and skirts should be khaki, black, or navy blue. Shoes should be tied at all times. No coats or hoodies are allowed in the building unless you have a uniform-approved sweater or jacket, which has no hoodie and no logo. At this time, we're going to review our South Greenville Elementary expectations for PBIS. Number one, repeat after me. I will be prepared. Number two, I will always be respectful. Number three, I will work hard. And number four, I will be safe. Remember, these are our pause expectations, and you are expected to meet these daily. Today's sentence is, the girl runs. I'm going to draw the lines first and give you a chance to fill it in on your own. Alright, what word should go here? Great, if you said the, you're right. Our noun should go here, which is girl good job and what is the girl doing she runs this is our verb this is our noun and this is our article this first half is our subject and the second half is our predicate good job guys on today's edition of meet the cheetahs we have our other PE teacher mr. longest and what did I say PE stands for if you said physical education you are right these guys are really out there to teach you how to stay fit and get moving. So when you see Mr. Longest, make sure you say hello. All right, Cheetahs, now a few notes from the Media Center and Ms. Richardson. Remember that checkout is a paired activity. It is only two students at a time. Do not send more than two students at one time to the library. And students, if you know that someone else in your class is already out and there's two people out, tell your teacher there's two people out because sometimes they forget. And remember that library checkout should be when you are ready to exchange two or three books, not just for one book. Go ahead and read all the books you have and then make a trip. Save your time and come when you have all your books read. Another great reminder is that anytime you have an issue with iPads, that is handled by Mrs. Tedder. Other equipment should be handled through Ms. Richardson. Also, iPads should never be just brought to Mrs. Tedder. Teachers know the procedure of signing up for Ms. Tedder's help with the iPads. Checkout times for the Media Center are as follows. These may change each week, so please check your weekly reminder emails. Monday from 8 to 11 and 2 to 2.20. Tuesday from 8 to 8.30, 9.15 to 11.20, and 1.35 to 2.20. On Wednesdays from 8 to 9.20, 10 to 11.20, 1.35 to 2.20. On Thursdays from 8 to 10, 10.45 to 11.20, 1.35 to 2.20. And on Fridays, 8 to 11, and 1.35 to 2.20. Start checking out those books and make sure you read every night. Here are a few additional notes from the Media Center. Make sure, students, that you have a library pass or your folder with your barcode on it when coming to the library. Remember, you should always have a hall pass when going anywhere at South Greenville. 
And another reminder, teachers, please make sure students returning books when they come in. A lot of kids have been coming in the media center forgetting they have books in the classroom and then have to waste time by returning to class. Students, remember to bring your books when you come back to the library. If you don't have a book in your hand, then you're not going to be able to return a book or check out another book. Thanks. And now, a public service announcement from your school library media center. Check-in happens when we bring our books back after we've read them. So anytime you come in to check in, to check in a book, you're bringing a book back to the media center. When we check out, we're taking books to read at our home or in our classroom. So today's public service announcement is checking in our book. And right now, this is done at the beginning of the media center. You need to make sure that after your book scans, you see the book title pop up on the screen. If you do not, scan it again to make sure that your book has properly been scanned in.